Hello everybody, this is Sue from Scrappy Do Zoo. Um, I'm back today because I saw a video on Angela Kerr's playlist um, on her YouTube channel. She makes beautiful things, so I'll link her channel below for you so you can have a look. But um, she um, did an episode and it was called um, Let's Make a Belly Band from a Mailer, meaning a... Um, a trash envelope um which you get in we all get a lot of these uh window um envelopes in the post um so it's made out of the window envelope and um and this is one i've made to show you so i've made this out of one of these window envelopes here and um i have collaged it up I covered it with some nice paper, covered the piece inside because as you can see inside is all that blue. And then I made a nice journal card which um, I backed with some packaging, recycled packaging. And I've collaged that up and put a tab on it and just slipped it in there like that. And this will fit on, let me see now if I've got, uh, just check whether I've got anything I can show you as an example of a journal page i don't have a journal uh, um in progress at the moment i'm still thinking about what i'm going to do next um after finishing my spring journal recently so to say this is your journal page this would make a lovely belly band here which is also as you can see got the um journal card pocket on the side so you'd stick it there and there and then you would also be able to put things behind it um so for instance i don't know if this was a a nice jer another journal card or tag you could put that behind there i mean you could even glue it on three sides here and still have that behind still have that there obviously but then that would be kind of what we would call a side tuck. So it's quite a versatile piece. And I really enjoyed watching Angela make hers. So I made this one for myself. I reinforced the edge myself with some um, ribbon because it did seem a bit flimsy because the paper that I covered mine in was just A4 copy paper uh, that I'd printed a digital out on. So um, it might be a good idea to use something a bit thicker than that something like 100 gsm i think mine was only 70 gsm so there we have it so i thought we'd make make a couple today so i've got two different examples of envelopes now in the uk we just tend to have one window in our envelopes unlike the us who have some lovely envelopes sometimes with two windows um and um I also have got a junk j junk um, mailer, which has got a slightly bigger window there. Um, but as you can see, um, I tend to get my mail and forget to open it carefully at the top. So it's been shredded open. Um, so anyway, that doesn't matter because we're going to cut them down. So my good envelope um, is just one that closes it's sticky and has two pieces here to close it down um i think i might stick that down ready because um we're going to cut it down anyway so that's that one and this one measures just under four and a half inches wide and it is just um eight just over eight and a half in height and this one is again it's four and a half inches wide and this one's taller so this was nine and a quarter inches tall but we're going to cut them down anyway so let's get started so the first thing so i'll, I'll do this one first so that was my opening which i've now sealed down um and as you can see i am going to cut mine down so that the width here measure uh matches roughly that now it doesn't have to be precise but if you want to measure it that is entirely up to you but what you want to do is to make sure that you've got the height to fit your journal page so again 
I'll just get my journal page, my faux journal page back. So that's obviously going to be too tall for the uh, standard journal page. So I want to cut it down. And also when you put a belly band on a page, you don't want it edge to edge at the top and bottom. You want to give it a bit of room. So we are going to cut that down a bit. And I'm probably going to cut it, cut at least, I'd say an inch, a good inch off. So that is literally about an inch and a quarter that I've cut off. And if we get our faux journal page back, you can see that's perfectly adequate now to fit on a page quite comfortably. So there we have it. It, it did cross my mind when I was cutting this off that we could actually have turned that up and made a little extra tuck down the bottom. So that's another idea that that sometimes comes to mind when you're actually doing something. So... So that's that one. Now I'm not going to throw this piece away. I'm going to keep it because we may be able to use that for something else. Angela did mention that she was keeping hers. So she may have um, a another video coming up. I don't know uh, where she's actually going to um, use those pieces. So let's while we've got the cutter out, let's just cut this one down. Now this one... Could be a bit tricky on here because it's slightly too tall for this um, i don't want to use my other cutter so i'm going to cheat a bit i'm just going to gently fold that over this is how i get over cutting things a bit too long and i'm going to go around about i'm eyeballing this i'm just going to eyeball what sort of width i want that side and I'm just going to cut it like that so you see that that kind of works. Now, obviously, I'm not keeping this piece. Not worth it. Now, um, so I'd use this as a judge as to what um, height I want. So I think I will go for, again, taking off. Let's see. We measure it with this one. Um, maybe have it a little bit taller. Or maybe not because we know that so we'll go to there and we're just going to cut that off like so get rid of that right okay so that's it now definitely cut that straight i think maybe i didn't let's just double check no it's not quite as straight as i'd like so we're just going to slither off there like so okay so that's that done right now what Angela did next was she I'm trying to remember now she cut out a piece so she cut out a piece to go around the front she cut out one piece and she cut the window out now you can do this one or two ways. You can do it that way, cut the window out, or you could collage around it. So I think because this one's so much bigger, I may collage this one. So we put this one to one side and we'll concentrate on this one. Now, I don't want this in the window. I don't want this showing the inside of the envelope. So I'm going to start off by finding something to cover that over with. Um... And it's quite nice to have something in the window that um, is quite attractive. So let's have a look and see what we've got um, that we can use. Now, I was going to use this. This is one of, um, who uses this? This is a Roxy Creation piece. Um, I've got a feeling it might have been one of her freebies, but I'm not totally sure. Um, so I was going to have this on the front of this. So then to just measure that, what do I need? So that more or less is exactly the right height. I cut off the edges. Um, so um, I want it to get my pencil. I want it to go to there so i'm just going to bring back my guillotine and just cut that down quickly um 
like so. Now you can cut it with a guillotine like I'm doing for this one but for this one I did use my tear ruler. Um, it's entirely up to you um, what you feel most comfortable with. Okay so while we're here we will cut off those edges like so. It's not quite cut exactly how I wanted it. If you can hear a dog barking, it's not Paddy Dog. It's one of my neighbour's dogs and it's a very um, unusual situation for that dog to be constantly barking. I never ever hear it bark. I don't quite know what's going on. I've got a feeling that they have shut him in the garden and they're not letting him back in and that he's asking to come back in. That's what I think. But I'm hoping that they will come and sort him out soon because it's getting on my nerves a bit. <laughs> Even though I have a dog myself, I don't particularly want to hear someone else's dog constantly barking, to be honest. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do now I've cut that is I'm going to get my... Uh, distress ink and I'm going to use vintage photo and I'm going to distress around this envelope to define it and I don't want really want too much white showing so when you if you cut your piece out with a tear ruler you know it stops the white coming showing at the edges um, so you can just you know give it a bit of a A bit of a uh, inking down the sides and along the bottom like so um, gently round the window because when we cut the piece out we may find that there could well be a bit showing on that edge although we do our best not to let that happen right and then um, so this is the piece I'm going to put on the front I quite like this it's already kind of a collage sheet, um, digital collage sheet, and um, I really love the colours, I do like the colours, so we're going to put that there like so, and we're going to cut the window out. Now that's the tricky part that I always find tricky. So to go in the window, to go behind here to cover up this blue, I'm going to take another piece of this, and I want something nice showing through really so I am going to take my tear ruler and I am going to cut and I'm just going to take that back off and I'm just going to cut that down a bit because I don't need a piece that wide and let's see um, that would be about the right length so you just want it bit longer than the, the window and a bit taller than the window just so um, you can stick it down and it won't be sticking about to stop your um, journal card from moving about when you do make one. I'm just going to ink round here although these in theory these pieces won't be showing but just peace of mind and then I'm going to, while that edge is open, I'm going to position that in where I want it, like so. And then I'm going to glue that down. So let's get some glue. And take our piece. Oh, Mr. I don't want to work glue again. And I have used this today already, so there is no reason. And I didn't leave the pin out, so there isn't a reason for it, except that I think it's coming close to the end and perhaps does not want to play ball. I don't know. I really don't know. I do like this glue, though. It's one of my favourites. So... We're just going to take this, open this up, and we're going to quickly slip that in, 
position that where we want it and that's where I want mine and you don't want to stick the front to the back of the window you want to stick this to the back of the envelope okay because we are going to be putting something in there I'm just going to snip. I think there's a tiny bit hanging over the edge so I'm just going to snip that let's um in the glue for a second right so we've done that now now come now comes a tricky part now i made a little template when i cut this one out i tried to make a sort of a template which was not brilliant because what you've got to do is you've got to try and work out where your window is um now if this paper is slightly thicker um, so, so what I did is I just put a pencil mark there, felt for it here, and again on this side, so you can feel where the window is, and I can feel that it's down to about there. So just keep lifting up your piece so that you can see so i think it's kind of there so um i'm just going to try and position this template um against where i think any marks are which is there and there and to there I'm going to gently draw around this and hope that it actually looks okay when I cut it out because I'm going to use my craft knife, I think, to cut it out. Now, yes, let's do that. Let's use our craft knife. Um, what have we done with that? And I'd be very careful with these knives, especially this, because this is a normal DIY um, Stanley knife. It's not a specific craft knife as such. And to make sure you go down to the bottom, like so. Now, this happened to me before it didn't quite cut through. I think it's because I'm being very ginger with this knife, you know, very careful. Um, I, I'm not keen on knives. Well, I don't think anyone is keen on knives, but... just sort of give me the heebie-jeebies you know <laughs> so we'll go to there and that's going more or less down to there so and then we're going to go along the bottom like so so just make sure line it up with my mat and make sure that that line is okay Just bear with me one moment about that. Paddy Dog was now decided to join in, started growling. He thinks that um, no one else is allowed down this road or outside the house. So I have cut this out. Now this will be the telling factor. Is it going to fit around this window? Um not quite as well as i'd expected because there's a bit of a gap there and there but i think we'll go with that it's the best i think that we can hope for so i am going to go ahead and glue this down i'm not going to mess about with it I'm trying to 
cut another piece because you know in crafting things don't have to be perfect and that's what you need to remember and I think there are some people some crafters do like to do everything absolutely precisely and perfectly and that's fine that's great and, and I do do my best to you know do that myself um but um with things like this type of thing cutting out a window um it's not easy and um i've yet to think of an easier way of doing it so when i think of a way of doing it that's easier i let you know <laughs> so now what i want is to make sure that if there is a gap above and below, that I make sure that it's even. So I want it on there like so. And this is why I said to you, have make sure you kind of ink, ink round the bit that might show in the window. Okay, so That is not, it's not perfect. I'm going to rub out my pencil lines, any that remain. And what I will do is probably, now before I stuck it down, really I should have inked around it and I didn't. I think it's probably too late for me to actually oh maybe not let's just ink round it and then we'll just re-glue it down so, so this is not the best way to do it I hasten to add but there are always ways around little things like that if you forget to do something you know, it's not it's not um, going to be the end of the world if you do what I've just done. So while I'm there, I am going to make sure that the top there, which obviously is now showing up the glue, and the bottom there are very well inked right. Distressing as I've been told by other crafters, does cover up a multitude of sins. Right, so we're just going to glue down there now. And some along there. Just do a thin bead of glue when you get to the, the window. You don't want it to smudge out and just going to press that down, give that a gentle press down with this, okay, now because this doesn't quite reach the bottom I've decided I'm going to actually cut mine down a little bit more, which again it's no biggie, um, you can do whatever you want to do. So, because we haven't glued it down yet, so that gets over that, and then give that another ink down like that. Okay, so that's that's the outside covered, and I really like that. I like the colours, the very muted sort of colours. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue this bottom piece shut so you just want a thin bead of glue along the bottom edge of the envelope now if you want to you can sew around these it's entirely up to you how you want to do it like so so we want to make a journal card for that one so we just pin this glue quickly and then we're going to think about what we're going to use for journal card and I had said 
that um, I was going to use a piece of this to match inside. So now the journal card. So I'm going to think about what I want on my journal card. And I don't want my journal card as big as this envelope. It's got to be smaller so that it fits in. So I'm going to mark it just inside there. And I've got this over the line here, so I know that is going to be cut at the line. And then likewise, I don't want it the complete width, so I've got mine just over the line here. Um, and I'm just going to mark it there. So that's where we want to cut. Right. Bring back the guillotine. And we're going to... Down there, like so. Now, this is where you find that you've missed your marks. Um, I mark, mark was here, so I want to go across there, like so. And Where's my envelope? Just want to double check because so I can't see the mark for the width. So that's okay like that. And then we're going to cut to the line here. Like so. And we are then just going to cut down here. Down the edge. Like so, and that is going to be the front of the journal card. So um, I won't ink it. First of all, I'm going to back it on some card, and this is just recycled packaging. So I'm going to cut a piece of this out, like so, and I'm going to cut this edge off because we don't want it. and then we're going to make sure we turn it over check that it's okay on that side no marks so I am then going to glue it down with this glue give it a good coating of glue Like so. Okay, and then I'm going to just position it above that crease and give that a good smooth down. In the glue and just give that a press down with the bone folder spread out that glue and then we're going to cut round that actually I think I am going to use my guillotine and I'm just going to stand up for this um, because my cutting skills leave a lot to be desired. Um, if I cut the top first, it's this, I've got to make sure this is going to come out as straight as possible. Just a slither. Okay, and... wondering if it's a bit dark I am by the window I'm struggling to see where the edge of the cardboard is myself I don't know whether you're having difficulty seeing this um, I'll just switch this other light on see if that helps um, 
and line that up like so. Now I want another slither off of there because I'm not quite happy with that. Make sure it's straight. Okay, that's fine. Right. Oh yes, I've had difficulty cutting around things in the past and I've cut and then I've cut a bit more and I've cut a bit more because I didn't think it was straight and in the end I ended up with something half the size it started out at. So I'm just going to ink round this now. So you've got that nice creamy card on the back and who would know that that was from cereal packet. I do love being able to recycle. So that's our, our journal card and we're going to put a tab on it. So I did have a tab out ready. Now what's happened to it disappeared. Let's have a look, it was in here, there it is. This is a tab that is part of a pack that I bought from uh, Violet Doran uh, from her eBay shop. She does lots of um, things, pockets, uh, pockets and envelopes, beautiful pockets, uh, little envelopes, tags. She makes all these tabs and she does um, do fussy cuts as well. Not fussy cuts. Um, oh, I'm always calling them fussy cuts. Um, uh, die cuts. And so if you want anything that's not in her shop, she will, if you email her, she will often make you up something that she hasn't even advertised she's that good so i'm going to stick that there so let's do that now yes so um see i'm very good i keep pinning the glue as soon as i've finished with it and we're going to put it around about there like so I'm just eyeballing really where I want it um, again it's not it's not um, you know something you can measure this and go halfway and sort it out that way but I haven't um, I've decided just to put mine eyeball it. So that's that. So hopefully that now fits. We didn't check, did we? You didn't tell me to check. So this now has to fit in there. So because it's it goes in and it's it's lovely. Um okay. Oh okay, right, so now um this is quite thick so i'm happier with this than i was with my first one what i want to do now is do a little bit of um add some embellishments to this so what we'll do is we will uh, let me see um just thinking what shall i put on there i've got some kind of um flowers that would be quite nice wouldn't it i think so let's get some of these out and see now i've got so many things now that i actually need to find something else to put them in i quite like that there like so maybe just find a nice green one and perhaps we will put this all up this side, like here, like so. So that's behind there. And maybe have that one a little bit shorter like that. Yeah, I quite like that. Okay, I'm not dithering today. You'll be pleased to know. So that's going on there. So I just want to give that a quick ink round. These I, oh, I think I bought these from a different seller on eBay. 
I can't remember I've had them in my stash for a very long time but they're lovely because they're different a sort of flower to the usual die cut flowers and um, I quite like that so we'll just give this a hint of ink uh, you don't have to ink these but I do like to try and get rid of the white down the sides if I can as much as possible and then we're going to glue those on so we're going to have this one on first because it's at the back so we're just going to gently dob some glue all the way down these are tricky little things they do they get all tangled up in the box and can be quite annoying but they're very versatile because you can actually shape them on your piece by bending them a bit so I could shape that up there like that which I really like and then this one goes next because it's in front of the green yes if you google if you search on eBay you can find all sorts of different die cuts anything that you possibly want so um, it's always worth having a look and they're not amazingly expensive either because I wouldn't be buying them if they were to be honest I've just been cutting out of my, my my books but you know I like to have a bit of a mixture so we want this one slightly down didn't we so maybe let me see do I want it there or do I want it kind of there a hint of a hint of that one at the back I think that's how I'm going to do it and then I'm going to cut that off that piece so cut that off like so okay now I want something down here uh, so let's have a look see if we've got um, we've got a word beloved so we could have that on so we'll just cut round that I like the green background of this and words are easy you can cut them out of your books if you've got um, a glue book or a a book that you've an altered book and you've taken all the pages out you could actually um see that isn't straight at all you could actually um cut words out of books too so you know i i do buy book digital lists of words and phrases and things sometimes i just like to see what I mean about cutting and cutting until in the end we'll have nothing we won't have a word we'll just have a slither of cardboard I think that's probably okay okay right so there's that and you can take a piece of plain um, cardstock or thicker paper and you can print on them you know if you've got um, a block of words letters rather the alphabet you can actually do some printing so now I want that but I also want um, something else so don't don't know if I want that don't like that color it's not going to suit um, not that one that a good that's quite nice we might have that one there and that um no oh, it's quite nice this is a I think this is a sticker no this is quite nice but not really appropriate oh okay this is Sometimes where things can get a bit stilted when you're doing a video and you're trying to find bits and bobs. Um, let's 
and a bit of a label don't we really um okay so we're not going to have any of those I'll just have a look in this smaller um so we've got a butterfly on there we've got a butterfly in the window um i could take that piece to put that on that would be nice um these are just odds and ends little things really little um that would be quite nice although it's too near that other butterfly uh let's see have we got anything to go at the top at all um so i've got snippets of these so that's quite nice I'll give that a bit of in interest and maybe i could do a bit of collaging with that let's think about it um that would be that would be quite nice to have at the top so we've got two butterflies maybe um and perhaps we could add to this one of those maybe I'm not sure I would still like a little label really um, again this is entirely you know your call as to what you have on something and how you want to layer it up that's a maybe Oh, I quite like that actually so let's see if we put those like that and that there it's a possibility actually I quite like that random things okay let's cut this out and We will layer this up with this, like so. I don't want to take too long, you see, because that makes a long video. So, you know, then we'll end up not being able to actually um, have time to do the other envelope. Although we're just collaging that, so maybe that will be a bit easier. Okay, so we put that there, like so. Okay, like so. Maybe just down a little bit. I'm not too keen on that stem sticking out so I'm going to snip that off and cover that like so okay right so that's that and then where did that piece go where did that piece of cloth here it is so we could have that kind of like maybe we have it this side Oh, there's a volcano now coming out of the um, blue over here. Quite like that, actually. It's unusual. And I'm, I'm going to try and use a bit of this gloopy glue just to stick that down like so. Waste not, want not. See if we can get these both on like so. And we won't use that again at the moment. Let's go back to this one. And oh, this is out of the Tim Holtz, one of his packs of little pieces. 
Some of them are so tiny. Right, okay, I like that. That's very pretty, I think. That's my choice anyway. And on here, we are going to... The only thing with these butterflies, I find, is they have an amazing amount of white around them. And um, you can try and cut, cut a bit of it out, but like in there, for instance... Um, and maybe he's left them so that, you know, manufactured them in that way. So that you can actually cut a bit more out if you want to. Like so. So I'm a bit happier with that now. So that's there. And go around this this label. Which is a miniature postcard, which is very cute. And we are going to put that down first. Whoops, a daisy. Put that there. And then a butterfly. Okay. So I'm going to put the butterfly there like that. So he's in the opposite direction to the one down there. And there we have it. There we have it. That's that set. Okay. So our other envelope here. We are quickly going to attempt to collage. So first of all. Um, I want something quite long to go in this window. Um, so let's use the tear ruler for this one. And we'll just quickly get rid of that. And get rid of that. And that, like so. Now, which piece do we want? So it's up that way, so it would be quite nice to have that in the window again, I think. Um, maybe down a bit, so I'm going to just fold that there like so, so that I know. So if we push that in there like so. Ah, that's quite nice. I like that. Right. Okay, let's stick that down. We won't bother inking it. We're just going to stick it down. Because it's covering up that inside. You might, you know, you might not want to cover up the inside of the envelope. Some of them are quite attractive and the colours are lovely. And if the colour fits in with your theme for wherever you're going to use this piece then you don't need to cover it up it's just personal choice really um so just quickly slip that in there ah i knew that would happen a bit of that glue luckily enough this glue does um dry and oh goodness me that's great now So it's like something's gone wrong now. Just take it back out. Oh, oh, oh dear me. Now, can I redeem it without taking it out completely? That's better. Right, that was a kerfuffle, wasn't it? So... Okay, that's that bit done. Right, now we're going to just quickly collage around the side. Now, I did want to use some of this paper. I really like this. But 
do I want to rip into a page? I guess I could. Um, so what we want to do maybe is let's maybe tear off some like so. Oh, and this is out of a pad um, of eight by eights. Um, that is called. Um, hmm. British Museum, I think. So I guess we're going to have to try and rip down this edge. Now this is not going to be easy. I don't really want to waste, lose, lose too much of it. I might actually leave it. I may leave it. I'm not brave enough. Well, actually, we want a piece down here like so. So we just really want to cut down there. So don't need to worry about that, actually, thinking about it. So that's going to go there like so. Okay. That's going to go there. And let's have... Another piece down this side. This is what I'm feeling at the moment. So, like so. Okay. Now, what else have we got? So, let's have a look. Um, does that go? got a nice piece of that blue so that would be quite nice if we just took a piece of that and if we just I think it's easier if I tear it myself down this side We don't need a massive long piece but we'll have that like so we'll have that I think like that which I quite like and then we want something down the bottom and I really do like this um wondering whether to have the top part like that because I don't want I really do like those butterflies and I'm trying <laughs> what I'm saving them for I do not know but I would like to save them at this point so let's just have the top piece so if we have so if we get rid of that so down to there and So, and like so, okay, so we could have that piece there, what does that look like? That under and that over like that and then we want something down there so let's have a look what have we got we've got that or we have got some of this so I may just take this piece Like so, and if 
my tearing's a bit like my cutting. I'll keep tearing the piece until I end up with nothing that's worth using. So maybe we'll just go down there with that like so. And do I want anything else in there at this point? Maybe that there. I think that's what we'll go with. I'm not going to overthink it. We're going to ink these up now. A bit of ink can make all the difference. Have to be careful of the time. Um, I'm conscious that I feel like I've been on camera for ages. I do not want a repeat of my video which was over an hour that was awful that would have been awful I think for the viewer I know myself I'm not too keen on watching long videos um, simply because of the time involved um, you know if you think to yourself I'm trying to catch up with someone's playlist and then um, we watch one video that's over an hour and that's kind of a big chunk and then you know you might only have a certain time of the day or evening when you can actually sit and watch something you know with me it's usually bedtime to be quite honest I put my headphones in lay in bed and watch my YouTube videos then but if it's a really long one I can't always finish it in one go because I have a tendency to start nodding off. So, um, okay, so, so we're going to have this down here and that underneath. So we'll put this piece down first. We'll try and be as quick as I can. Okay, so now it doesn't matter if it hangs o over the, we want that piece over the top, so we'll put this piece back uh, next. It doesn't matter if the paper hangs slightly over the window, it just adds to the effect. Of illusion, so we're putting that under there like so, and moving that piece up to there like so now I didn't ink this envelope round did I what am I like today seeing that piece of white there has made me realize okay let's quickly do that remember where everything was so this piece goes next yeah I think I've got about a third of this glue left and it's I do it honestly it's it's lasted nearly a year I'd say at least a year <sighs> I have to make sure now that this piece because it matches that piece is up the right way so I wouldn't want that to not be so there that goes like so okay and then we are going to put this down next oh yeah we're going to put this down next because we want that over the top i think let's quickly hope i'm in camera sorry if i wasn't just then Oops, a daisy, less haste. What did they say? More haste, less speed. Oh, so 
I'm just going to I want that a bit closer to the bottom. Oh, a bit closer and a bit that's it, like so. That's it, like so. Okay. I like this label, you see. That was my thinking behind this piece. Oops, everything's sticking to me now. And then this piece, I think we were going to have... Now, which way round was it? That way, I think. Just avoiding that number 27 there and then this piece we are going to put oops a daisy um over here it's got some little bit of script on it so i just wanted to make sure that was up the right way okay so that's it now we can embellish this a bit more with some Fussy cut flowers or something. Um, let's have a look what we've got that we've cut out of um, our books. Have we got anything at all that we fancy that is not too big? A lot of these fussy cuts are a bit big. Um, I can't bring myself to cut them really small now. Want that possible? Um, look. And then these all get all tangled up too. So, um, so it's that bit of ivy is quite nice, but I shouldn't really fussy cut that out a bit better. I think I don't want that. Wild strawberry, that's quite nice. Possible. This is right, stop that clanking noise. Oh, that's nice. Now I like that. Have that just so that we can still see specimen number 27. And have a bit something down here. So that is a major possibility too big much too big obviously you can't you can't resist these you know who can resist one of edith holden's lovely pictures yeah i like to cut them the picture out quite big and then i kind of like to make a decision as to how big or small I want it so um because some of these you can cut them down a little bit nearer the time um some cowslips there they're very pale though um i could put those two violets together on they obviously let's have a look at those let's put this clanky thing away now let's see what do we really like so that would be quite nice quite like this so we could have that one there and this one up, up a bit higher this one here like so and this one could join up there. I don't know now whether I like that or not. Quite like this, but it's big, and I don't want to cover that up now that I've gone to the trouble of covering that. Now I could put that up the side, like so. That would be quite nice. Have something down here. I think that's what I'm going to do, you know. I'm going to go with that one. But first of all, let's take this bit of scrap. I need to 
dull it down with some of this because it's very stark white and then we will go round it to accentuate the edges which gives it a bit of definition like so and then have that there like so okay that's good now I'm thinking about maybe having a bit of ribbon down here so I'll just get them got a, a, a bit handy so I've got some of this going to add to it or not it's very flimsy so no I think what I'll get is a piece of my narrow crochet trim I've got the drawer with my lace in and it's literally overflowing now so I think it doesn't take long for you to outgrow the places that you keep things in once you start so I think this would be nice. So we're going to go with that. And we're going to cut it there like so. And yeah, that's nice. Now which is the best side? That one or I think it's that side. Okay, so first of all we need to glue this down quickly it's coming out well now I think maybe it's warmed itself up a bit perhaps that's what's the matter with it it's not a cold day here today though in fact it's very spring like in time for the Easter weekend but I'm not sure how um, how much we're going to get over Easter I'd just be glad of a break to be quite honest. So I'm just going to run a, a bead of glue down here. And I'm using Fabri-Tac because obviously, well, this is Beacon, Beacon, but it's the same glue, I'm pretty sure. Same sort of bottle. It does, um, you know, say Beacon 3 and 1 on it, but it is the same, I'm pretty sure. Now, I know I keep checking, don't I? Which is the side I like best? I think it's that one. Mm, that one. I'm just going to put that down there, like so. Okay. And that press down, and then we will trim that off. And trim that off. I'm not keeping those. Honestly, some of the bits that I have kept are tiny. But I really quite like that. So that's that one. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue down here now to close it. Thin bead of glue along there, like so. Like so. I'm just, just going to trim around that overhanging edge, just like so, just to neaten that up a bit. Material. Okay, and then I might just neaten down there, but it doesn't really matter. It's just personal preference, really. Right, so pin the glue, and what I've decided is because I think this video has possibly gone on a bit too long, I'm going to do the um, journal card off camera and I will show it in the thumbnail at the end so that you can see what I did with it 
Okay, so there you have it. There's a collaged one. So let's clear this off and show you. Okay, so we now have these. So we have this one with its with its card, journal card that should fit in there, like so. That one. And we have the one I made originally with its journal card, like so. And we now have the collaged one. So it gives a different effect, but just as nice. It really is just as nice. Um, and, and I will do the journal card off camera. So that's it, folks. So that is Angela Kerr's um, Let's Make a Belly Band from a Mailer. Um, so there, there you have it. Now, envelopes in the UK, they can all be different. So, you know, just use what you've got. You know, as you saw with this one, it was all ragged at the edge. It's something I might have thrown away. But because I knew we were cutting it down, I could still use it. So use whatever you've got. If you don't have an envelope, don't worry about it. If you don't have a window envelope, don't worry about it. You don't need to use a specific envelope a window envelope you can use any envelope okay so that's it from me take care everyone and i'll see you again soon bye bye